It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brew by Numbers, and this is their 05. It's an India Pale Ale brewed with Citra and Chinook, coming in at 6% ABV in a 440 milliliter can. I like the branding on the can. Always see a Brew by Numbers beer with that big, big number on the front. And this is a, a beer that is exclusive into Sainsbury's in the UK. Pretty cool. We can get a Sainsbury's beer. So without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. A little bit of smoke on the can opening. Beer in the glass. Ooh, look at that. Two, yeah, I'm gonna say two finger white head. Real pale kind of straw colored beer, this one. Good levels of slow moving carbonation in the glass. Yeah, nice and hazy, nice look to it, straw colored. Very attractive looking beer. Let's get the aroma. Mm, you definitely get that citron chinook. It's like marmalade flavours coming on. Like marmalade on rye. Mm, very nice. Very marmalady, really, with a bit of spicy rye. Let's uh, let's let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. I'm pretty sure the beer has not got rye in it. it just smells that way. Hmm. Three pounds a can. Three pounds a can, this one. It's okay. It's okay. It's not blowing the doors off, though. It's not kind of making me jump back and go stone the crows. Um, There's a certain dryness in there, a certain level of dryness in this beer. It's spicy and kind of peppery. I'm just wanting the hops to do a little bit more in this beer. If I'm perfectly honest, I just want the hops to... Wow, look at the sediment. Getting the rest of that can in the glass. Look at that sediment there. I spin that round, you'll be able to see. Can you see it there floating around in the glass? <sighs> Tires and shopping trolleys in this one. A little bit better. A little bit better getting all of the that lovely kind of yeasty sediment into the into the beer a little bit more tropical a little bit more a bit more of a pineapple taste now coming through but it, again it's not it's not making me jump back and go this is absolutely wonderful beer um i mean look th this is sainsbury's real first well, they, they, they put a couple of beers in late last year, late 2020. Uh, we reviewed them on the channel. And I and I, I think I called the video Sainsbury's dipping their toe into the canned craft beer world. Because, of course, we had Tesco launching a range of £3 cans into their stores. Followed by Morrison's. Um, Marks and Spencer started. 
to all of the big supermarkets were, 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 were getting involved in this and Sainsbury's for some reason or another kind of backed away and didn't really do too much. I think what they were doing, they were either organising contracts or they were just seeing how this is going to play out. And I think it, it's a bit of both. It's, it's a bit of signing contracts with brewers um, and it's a bit of just seeing how things go really. Is it really working for Tesco's and Morrison's to really stock these can craft beers and do really well with them? And of course, with the help of social media, it's been a great success for Tesco and Morrison. So of course, Sainsbury's are going to do the same thing. I wouldn't be surprised if they had a, an Instagram account opening up soon talking about Sainsbury's can craft beer. But I think they got a bit of work to do. I think they got a bit of work to do. This is okay. This is okay. If I was a, uh, you know, somebody who drink, drinks loads and loads of cans of craft beer, which I do, which I do, of course, and I went and paid £3 a can for this, took it home, opened it, I wouldn't be in any great rush to be running back to Sainsbury's to grab some more of these. It would be a bit of a, mm, looks okay, smells okay, tastes okay, but I'm not going to rush back. I'm not going to rush back and empty the shelves type of thing. It, it's just okay. It's just okay. And that's a shame because I've always had great beer from Brew by Numbers. Always great beer. I've, I understand Brewdog have a stake in this company unless they've sold on their stake. But they used to have a stake in Brew by Numbers. Um, I don't think the beer's brewed at Brewdog by the way. I think they still have their own brewery. Yeah, it's just, it's just a bit musty. It's just got a little bit of a mustiness to it. Like, um, like you're waiting a long time for the flavour to really smack you around the chops. It kind of does happen towards the end. But it needs more. It needs more. It needs a bit of a kick of the backside, to be honest. Uh, a modern India pale ale brewed with two classic American hops, Citra and Chinook. This naturally hazy beer bursts with flavours of tropical passion fruit, zesty grapefruit and a subtle bitterness. Search for Beer Hawk at Sainsbury's. Oh, on YouTube to learn more about this beer and how it's brewed. What, so this is made by or in collaboration with Beer Hawk? Just an odd one because I've never... You know, it's not really saying anything on the front of the can. I know, I know Sainsbury's do a bit with beer hawk. You see on the end of the aisle there, you can buy a box of beer hawk beers. But um, that's an interesting one for me. That's an interesting one. Brewed in London. Right, I'm going to rate it. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's not, it's not beating the doors down of the craft beer world, this one. It's a 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beard and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.